What's up everybody? Taking a break from the spawner for a second because I noticed something that was pretty cool. So, um, in the flat area over here, I was messing with one of the spawners I had, which was made of sand. And I got tired of it, so I blew up most of it with TNT. But I noticed that there was, after I blown it up, there was sand everywhere. And I was like, oh yeah, sand does become um, movable after it's falling. And it got blown away with TNT. So I was wondering, can I make a sand cannon? And as you can see, I have made a sand cannon. So this takes a bit of sand on these pistons. You have a button over here with a long ass delay, which waits exactly the right time. The, sand, the piston uh, retracts, the sand goes into a free fall, and that lets it get thrown by the uh, dynamite. There's water down there. I'll, I'll build one in a second. It's pretty consistent. Um, you can also do more than one block of sand. That's why I have the pit. That's why I have multiple pistons there. But uh, sometimes it, it depends on the you know the blasting is a little. It'll go slower. But if you can out, you can augment it with more dynamite. This is, this is the cannon that can hold two levels of dynamite. There are more. There are ones that can hold more, far, far, far more levels of dynamite. But this two seems to work for, for me. And actually, if you just place the one block, it goes really freaking far. Let's see if I can catch up to it. Oh, I can't keep up. I can't. Oh, I can't build it. But uh, the problem being is, like, it, it ends up launching, like, out of the rendered zones, and I think it breaks because of that. But you get some good, good distance out of it. And it, it doesn't actually, it, this actually doesn't work as a normal TNT cannon either. You, you would have to remove this one block and put a piston there and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I've just been messing around with this, and you can fill up all of it, and uh, it doesn't do too well. Because the blast radius kind of gets dissipated in the first two rows of blocks. Watch, you'll see what happens. It does send a good amount of flying, but not, not, not a whole lot. You can also do... You can also stack them on top of each other like that. I, only, I think it only pushed the first two, though. I'm not sure about that third one. I doubt it'll push the third one. Let's see. That one looked crazy on that. Let's see. Try it again. Yeah, I think it only pushed... I think it'll only push two. Oh, okay. Only one. Never mind. But yeah, little little uh, sand cannon. And, you know, you can always um, change the, the distance you want by the amount of TNT you put in it. This one, should go, this, one, this one should go pretty far. But actually... Oh, no day. Let's see. Will you stay rendered? Nope, that one breaks too. But yeah, all of the sand came about from, like, an explosion I had. And I was like, ah. Oh. So I'm sure, like, there's a way, there would be a way to get more, like, a nice... Um, radial explosion of sand but that would take some pistons and I found out that if you have um, one two three four five six seven eight nine if you have nine repeaters all at full um, delay it is just the right amount of time for the TNT to go off and the piston to retract itself which is pretty cool so I'll go ahead and make one of these if you guys want to play around with one of these Make one of the, I'll officially make one of these. So let's, let's go ahead and make, make one. Um, let's go over here. Alright, so... Um, make a little four hole. It doesn't have to be four. I like four. Four is reliable. So you get a four. Just hold. Just make a little canal that'll hold four. You can build it above anywhere you want. It just. All right, so you have four there. You put your TNT here, which is good. And... Then, if you're gonna do the can, the, the, I'm just gonna do a normal TNT cannon right now, and then I'll switch it to a uh, sand cannon. So some redstone, doom, 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 and put some on this side, and one more on this side, so that the TNT stays in place and doesn't move around too much. That's one way to do it. And then you also want to hook up this one to a, red, a redstone as well. 
this is not the best way to do it. Again, I'm just doing a quick, dirty version of a cannon for you. Alright, I'm gonna hook this one to this one over here. Alright, so to shoot off a TNT block, you first shoot off the ones that are in there, and then shoot off these ones. Oh, right, whoopsie. That was sand above it, so I fell in. Never mind. Four. That was a mistake. One, two, three. Redstone. Sorry about that. A little bit of a whoops. A little bit of a whoopsie daisy. A little bit of a whoopsie daisy. Put it there. Nope, come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. Ah, junk, junk. Right, so uh, you put to set to shoot to shoot a cannon. You first light off those TNT, then you light off that TNT. And, uh, it'll go boom. Now I messed this up. You do need that one block there because that uh, that TNT, this one, tends to come backwards. But yeah, so shoot off that one. Wait a little bit and shoot off that one. And you can get it to blow up in the air, depending on how long you wait, or you can just wait as long as, as, as very, 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 very long time, and then it'll land and then blow up. Yeah. Okay, so that's the basic TNT cannon. To turn it into a, a sand cannon, it's not that hard. Take one down, there you go. This will just be a one block sand cannon. You can get more by just messing with wiring, but this is the basic idea. Have an inverter so that you can have it on while it's not um, powered. Then put the nine down. Put the nine um, things on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. I know, I know it seems really long, but yeah. Nine is the magic number for this one for some reason. Okay. And then sand, and then a button. And then actually, what you want to do is hook up... Uh, you only, you'll, you'll only need one button on this round, so you do want to do it a little bit differently. So, you'll have the button here, right? And this will send power over here. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's do nine. I need some torches because for some reason these things don't like being um, dark and like that. All right, nine at full length. Full length is important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll do it. Hook this up. So you want to be careful. You don't want to have the power, have it go through the power again. So let's go ahead and extend it out a little bit more this way. And another one. One, two, three. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. So now what will happen is you have the TNT in there. You click it. It'll fall down. The signal goes through the reverter. Shaboom. There it goes. And again, what happens is, um, as the TNT is about to explode, the piston arm retracts, making the sand go into a free fall, and that makes it um, susceptible, susceptible to the TNT explosion. And there you go, a nice little sand. And then if you wanted to, you could add more pistons. Uh, it's up to you how to wire them, just however you can feel like it. For example, here I have... Um, a perimeter of redstone to power these uh, seven pistons and then down here I have it going down and I have it powering the piston this piston from this block and then circling about over here powering this piston which is the two center ones but yeah very simple it's not horrible it's not extremely hard you don't need to have uh, these uh, repeat um, redstone repeaters you could use you could you know time it yourself if you feel, if you feel like you're up for it you can go ahead and time it yourself but I felt it was 
better with repeaters because you have a consistent um, time. One of the orbit too now. Yeah, the repeaters give you a, a consistent time. There's that. And then again, if you want to add more TNT to it, um, not horribly hard, but you do need to have a little bit of. Let me get something to actually build with, other than sand. I need, I need, I need to remove something. I just want to move that. So I need to have a thing over the TNT so it doesn't move out of place. Which you can, which is annoying. And then you have to, you have to power this TNT, which is one way I usually do it, which is not that hard, is bring a signal up and over. So, and bring it over here, and then have that run over this way. And that should do it, hopefully. Nope. You always want to have one for this back one. And if you do mess up, um, splits quickly place some water down, ends up fixing, mo end, ends up saving your butt quite a few times, which is good. Um, what happened here? I don't know what happened there. I don't. I don't know what happened there. That button powers that. Should also power this. There you go. Ah, there you go. So as I was saying, yeah, put always want that that block right there to hold off the very back end TNT, which tend to um, go backwards. Yeah. And for the sake of showing you another layer, we'll, 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 we can go ahead and add one more layer to this. Um, we'll keep this like this power these TNT like this. I mean this is just coming up with various creative ways to try and power everything at once. So we actually can't have that there because that's gonna ruin that TNT. So pop it over one more. And we can still use make use of this which is pretty good. So now that'll power the top one. We can put some redstone over it. Okay. We need to figure out how to power this this one. Um, come up with any way you want. I think the best way I would do it would be to do this. Add a few repeaters. And then also you want to add one repeater to the signal. Oh, hold on. I got a phone call. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, so what I was saying is if you want this all to go off at once, you're going to have to also add a bit of a delay in here somehow. Uh, which should be easy enough to wire. Can do it some like this. If we knock this out, right? This gives us a chance to add a delay. So we can do this. Put the repeater here. And that should send power to everything. That might make a that might make it a bit of a clock, which might be a bad thing. We don't really want this to be a clock. Uh, it's gonna be a problem. Let's see. Thinky, thinky. Time for thinking. Okay. We can do that though. And we can also, in case we don't want this to be a clock. Oh no 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 that. That's shunt work. That's shunt work. Oh, wait, no, I got it up. Yep, there we go. Alright, and then it'll bring, that'll bring the signal up here, through there, over here, round about. Alright, so this will delay that signal by one which is fine, which is what we wanted, but now we also need to power on these, but that's going to be hard to do, so why don't we do this, why don't we put a block there and we power this block instead. Ah, it's going to be hard to do also. We need to move that, it's actually in our way a little bit, so let's go ahead and move that out a little bit. And redstone torch, a redstone torch, 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 torch. Torch, torch. Again, this is just 
Oh, I've set something off. I <laughs> set, set, set that one off. I want to be careful about that one. That, that, that's one of those little glitchiness things. It's not really happening, but it's still glitchy, so that's okay. Okay. So what we also want to do is... We're going to carry the signal for these things over here. Again, this is sort of in the way, so let's move this out a little bit. None of this is going to be fancy, this is just trying to f come up with a solution to wiring problems. And we want that to be over there. We're going to probably set up the TNT again, that's okay, because it doesn't seem to actually do too much damage, which is good. Actually power it this way. There you go. And now we can do this. Alright, there you go. Should be... Three tiers of explosions. Let's see if this works. Up, oh, and I forgot to do that one. Oh, and we have a new one. Ah, ah well. <laughs> that happens. Alright, that's it. That's the tutorial. I'll do it one more time, real quick. One, two, three, four. Water. A barrier to place your stuff in. TNT. Piston. Right, button, redstone, 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 and then just nine freaking things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Doop, doop, doop. Block. Redstone torch. Makes it an inverter. Powers that. Good. Sand. There you go. Oops. Second change. Put blocks there. Ah, it knocked out all the freaking. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, nine, three, three, three. careful when you're, you know, putting that TNT. Alright, now we should be fine. Now it only powers the first one. Is there water down there? Oh, okay. I see the issue. Here. Here. There you go. There you go. Damn it! There you go. I am great at tutorials, am I not? <laughs> Alright, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. The importance of having them all be full delay is important. <laughs> and uh, also, works, also, this works with gravel. Got some gravel for you. Anything that, anything that has the same properties as sand, we'll probably, this will probably work with. As long as notch doesn't change something major in the TNT or something. Oh. Yep. All right, folks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you. I'll see you all next time. And as a special bonus goodbye. I like to do this with experiments. Once I'm done with them, I just destroy the world. All right. Put some gravel on top, see if they could get some up. Why the hell not? Alright. See what happens. Whoosh. 
The water's there, which prevents anything major from happening. Good job, water. Water no longer is there. Danger. Danger is now happening. Watch out, Papa. Kaboom! Yeah, the gravel got knocked around a little bit. Alright, folks. Take care. Bye.